a lot of people think that they want to get uh, food grade barrels because that sounds really good when you're making an oven. The challenge is that the inside of the barrel has a coating on it to keep whatever food you've got in there from reacting with the barrel and the barrel from reacting with your food. But since you're getting this up to very high temperatures, you need to make sure whatever that coating is that doesn't hold up at high temperatures gets completely removed. That means that you have to remove all of that manually. And that's a real pain. And I'm never quite sure that I've gotten all of it out anyway. So, but when you use um, when you get an oil barrel, the inside of the barrel is not coated at all because the oil itself is what keeps the metal from reacting and oxidizing. So they're really clean barrels, which is really nice to have. So you don't have anything sketchy on the inside of them. So this is largely what they look like. Um, this is the inside of one of the lids. When you get your barrels, try and make sure that you know their history. That's really, really important. Um, these things get reused for all kinds of different things. Um, try and get a one-time use barrel if you can find it. These things are used in lots of industrial applications um, and they're kind of throwaway goods in a lot of industrial applications, so it's not hard to find a single use barrel. Um, so ideally get one that's in good condition, that doesn't have a whole bunch of rust on it, that doesn't look like it's been used for a bunch of different things, and if you can find one that still has the original label on it, that's really nice because you can confirm what has and hasn't been in it. Um, I really like to get the ones that are just straight up motor oil. They're pretty common to find, um, and motor oil is very straightforward to deal with. One of the reasons I like using barrels that have um, oil in them instead of using other products is that oils, uh, um, motor oil is not going to ignite by having sparks thrown at it from these grinders. Um, if you have a barrel that's contained, that is filled with volatile gases and you are grinding into that, you have the possibility of accidentally having just created a bomb that's going to blow up right where you're standing. So you want to be really careful to make sure that there's no volatile gases inside of your barrel while you're grinding on it. Um, and especially the most important time is the first time you're grinding on the barrel and you have both lids attached onto it. Um, we've got a safety situation here because I've already taken the lid off of this end. So even if this was filled with gases at the moment, it couldn't blow up on me um, because it's not contained. It wouldn't, you know, it might make a big poof, but it wouldn't throw shrapnel. Um, but you are going to have to start from a point where you've got both lids attached. Um, so. Um, it's really nice to work with oil barrels, um, with mineral oil barrels, because they're not going to blow up on you that way. But that said, still you want to drain all the oil that you can out of the barrel first. Open it up, tip it upside down. It's nice to leave it for a day or longer if you can, because oil is kind of viscous and it takes a long time to drain out. Um, then it's also really nice to throw um, some boiling water inside of it with a little bit of soap seal it up again, roll it around the yard a few times, and then drain that water out into an appropriate and safe place. Mm -hmm. um, any oil that you drain out of these, make sure you dispose of it properly. Mm -hmm. Don't just throw it out on the ground. Um, if you are in a situation where for whatever reason you are not confident that you have all of the volatile materials or oils out of your barrel before you grind, um, what you're going to want to do is get the garden hose and open up one of those bung lids and put the garden hose in and fill the entire barrel up with water. Um, and if the barrel is full of water, it doesn't have any gas in it and the gases can't explode. Um, so that's, that's your nicest safety factor. So yeah, really important to not blow yourself up. Be really careful. And if you're worried about it, if you're not positive, fill the barrel with water and don't just top it up part way. Make it so that there's no air left in that barrel. Um, and if there's no air, it can't blow up. So mm -hmm. you're going to be good there. We don't have to worry about that. I've already emptied these barrels. I've already cleaned them really well. Got all the oil out and um, wiped everything down. I really recommend, this is a personal preference, but I really recommend that as soon as you get one of the lids off of the barrels, you really go in there and wipe things down and really clean it off. Wipe all of the oil off and then get some sort of a cleaner and clean it off as well because otherwise the oil gets all over everything when you're working and it's a really dirty, nasty job. Um, so this job's already going to be dirty enough, so don't punish yourself if you don't have to.